Don't throw around. I still think that that was a remix. I think you're a remix. No, I'm the real deal. The true original. Okay? There ain't nothing like me anywhere else. So Anna leaves town tomorrow, and for whatever reason, I was under the impression that she was only going to be gone for like a day or two. And then I realized she was going to be gone for like basically a week. <laughs> Four days, it, it might as well be a week. But, me and the cat might throw a party. Might get a little crazy. Don't know. So, to make it up to me, for leaving me for so long, and it's taking me to Chipotle, I guess that'll make us even. I don't know. For right now, we're going to the Walmart. But not for sweets. No, we're going to Earth Fair. Earth Fair? What the hell is Earth Fair? It's that store where my plant is collecting. Does it have a grass floor and everyone just goes by their astrological sign? I don't know. Maybe. Do you know your astrological sign? You're no. a Virgo. Sure. I'm a Virgo. Maybe. I don't know. But anyways. Get that Chipotle. It's almost hump day. Which means it's almost Friday Eve, which means it's almost Friday. Got to keep things in perspective. This is my kind of place. This is old fashioned custard. I've never had that before. What makes it custard? I have no clue. What's this one? Cappuccino milk. And then they got that chocolate. Mi chocolate milk. Whole chocolate milk. Dude, they make half and half. That's cool. So I found a good beer and then Anna's like, well, I gotta go to the bathroom. So she just leaves me standing there with cold beer in my hand, which I can't do. So. <laughs> I just bought it and now I'm sitting in the car. Oh, the trusty Publix. If it wasn't for Walmart, we'd be here like... Oh, if we live closer to a Publix... Like four days a week. Yes. Almost every day. We probably would be here. You're seeing it here first, folks. Thomas Wade just got complimented on his boots from another man. Wow. Levi's, $30. Marshalls. got home and is out of town. That means it's time to party. Much better. Tattoo update, so Monday was two weeks, so I decided to go ahead and do another application, I guess. Even though the skin was a little bit thin and wasn't 100% healed, I was getting kind of tired of it, tired of waiting. So I did that, and then actually this time I had the neutralizer, so right off the bat, it, I mean, it hurt worse. The acid hurt worse just because I think the skin was thinner and still raw and a little tender, uh, but it was still manageable. And then the neutralizer just made all the difference so as soon as I applied it it stopped hurting like probably within 30 seconds and it doesn't hurt at all now it itches because his skin's you know dry but it's already starting to peel off it doesn't look at all the same compared to the first time I did it so I think having the the neutralizer made a big difference but it's already starting to peel and we'll see what becomes of it it's like 8 p.m. probably closer to 8 30 I just spent a couple hours uh, Ubering, which is what I did for probably three or four months before we left. And it made a, a reasonable amount of money on the weekends and stuff like that. But it, don't seem, it doesn't seem to be as, uh, as much of a demand, I guess, here. That or there's just, it's being filled too well and there's too many drivers, I'm not sure. But I spent about two hours on the road and made like $23 and change. So about $12 an hour. Which would be okay if it was just a regular job at a store or a business, but considering how much time it takes, because you're not driving someone that entire time. Like, you're lucky if you're driving, like, on an actual drive, 
like a quarter of that time. And then all the wear and tear it puts on your car, gas. So relatively speaking, $12 an hour is not good for an Uber. That's, that sucks. But at the end of the day, it's better than nothing. I mean, what would I be doing otherwise? Probably, probably exactly what I'm doing right now. That's probably, I mean, today's Thursday, so I have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm sure it'll pick up a little more with the nightlife and stuff like that. And usually on the weekends, I tend to be kind of a night owl, so I can stay up till one or two and get the, the bar rush. So we'll see what becomes of that. But I don't know, something's better than nothing. I think I'm gonna play with the cat now because I've been neg neglecting him all afternoon. And he looks very irritated about it. I'm not throwing the ball. I think I'm gonna put on some Netflix, that Luke Cage though, and call it a night. So thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.